Okay, class. Well, it is a new week in our teaching and learning with digital technology class. And the focus is on information literacy and copyright. And so we're learning about, you know, how to support students' information seeking and information literacy skills, important 21st century skills for students to have. And so this week we're focusing on information seeking and as well as copyright. Next week we'll continue on with copyright and project-based learning and kind of move on from there. So what we have is information-seeking resources that you'll look up, just a few ideas of what resources you might find, a couple of presentations on uh, information-seeking and information-seeking projects. You'll be reading Chapter 2, and then there are some readings on copyright. And as you read about copyright, you'll want to kind of take note of the things that you learn in those readings. I think they're pretty brief, most of them. So take note of the things that you're learning because next week for the discussion there is a copyright poster that you'll create and it just basically informs your chosen audience about some of the points that you've been reading about copyright so that you understand those and can share those with someone else. So pay attention to that. We'll talk about that in a second. There's a tech talk on TED-Ed from Michelle this week and it's a nice tool and resource to learn about. Um, there's a video on open licensed media, multimedia, and then also copyright free resources. Those two have a lot to do with each other, these different resources that you can find that um, circumvent the copyright requirement and allow anyone to use those in whatever ways they want to. So take a look at those resources for this week. Um, based on what I'm seeing here, there's nothing to really submit this week or to discuss, but next week, You'll use the things that you're reading about in this discussion on copyright poster. So anyway, you're going to create a poster for your discussion next week. And you can get started anytime, uh, especially gathering information as you read this week about copyright laws and how they relate to education. Anyway, it says create a poster that informs your audience about copyright and or fair use for their specific situation. You can choose one of many different audiences. You could choose uh, K-12 school teachers, um, students in a high school digital media class, students in a basic elementary classroom, students in a middle school digital media class, or students of any age working on a written paper with references, or business e-learning department personnel. But you'll probably want to choose an audience that you know something about and work with quite often. So obviously if you're teaching in elementary school, um, at an elementary school, you might want to go ahead and, and choose that as your audience. Your job is to pick an audience and then create a poster that informs this audience about what they can and cannot do with certain resources on the internet according to copyright law. And this information again is found in your readings on copyright and fair use as well as copyright.gov. So you're going to use one of the tools that is listed there to create the poster and then provide a link to attach your poster in the discussion board um, for others to see. Um, but really this poster is, it's a poster and so posters aren't meant to be super in-depth on you know every facet of copyright information. Instead they're just supposed to be kind of a nice informative um, introduction to the topic. So share some facts, yes, but uh, probably don't go in-depth onto everything that you've read. You're just going to pick some basic points that will help students to understand or your audience to understand this, this copyright issue. One thing to be aware of, too, um, with this is that there's a lot of misinformation out there, I think, um, and a lot of students don't understand the importance of obeying and understanding copyright laws when they are doing something like citing um, sources in a paper or creating even a digital media project. So I think that the readings this next few weeks will help to inform you. And then this poster assignment might help you to inform an audience that you might be interested in informing about some of these issues that you're reading. So that's the point for the next uh, copyright poster assignment. Now it is just a discussion for the next week, but um, it's something to be taking notes on the copyright readings and information that you gain over the next few weeks so that you can do this assignment. All right, well, good luck this week. Hopefully everything goes well for you.